Andre, it was a tight match till four all, and then you seemed to just go to another level. Yeah, well, I had a lot of chances early. You know, I had one um, uh, love 30, a lot of 30 alls in a serve, and I was holding pretty comfortably. So I felt like the first set was sort of, I was itching to break it open, but it wasn't quite happening. Andy, after winning a tournament like you just did in Washington, is it tough to reset for the first match the next week? A little bit. The first one's always uh, a little bit tough. The conditions are always a little bit different. Um, you know, so that makes it a little bit tougher. But that being said, you're feeding off the confidence from the week before. So, uh, you know, they, they cancel each other out a little bit. Two things that are always very noticeable about Agassi. One is outstanding footwork. He's got, you know, I mean, we all know he's slightly pigeon-toed, but he's got those really short, quick steps, right? He's got, he's very meticulous in his footwork, and he's exceptionally fast. The other one is, like, particularly on his back end, he has virtually no backswing, right? It's just a very short little shoulder turn, and then he meets the ball well out in front. That's also why he has such a great return to serve. Rafael, an excellent match. I think the crowd really appreciated the fine play from both players tonight. Yeah, thanks. It uh, was a, a tough match. Uh, Lee is playing well, very aggressive, so that's difficult. No? So I'm happy for the victory. And Roger Federer, still the master in this house. Roger, another strong performance. He seemed to be getting very comfortable on this court. Yeah, I mean, uh, yesterday was good already, so I really uh, expected myself to play well again today, and I think I did. So. Um, fantastic tournament so far for me. I haven't lost a set yet and uh, I'm still in the, in the tournament so I'm, I'm very very happy of course. I was the director of player development 10 years ago. Uh, I was responsible for the development uh, and the application of resources from Tennis Canada to Greg Rosetsky and Daniel Nestor, Sebastian Leroux, Grant Connell, that whole group. And, and I think that sometimes uh, the, the depth of the bitterness that, that uh, we experienced over the years was just a reflection of how much we lost. I mean, if, if Greg Rosetsky had been part of the Tennis Canada, the Canadian tennis team over the last 10 years, with that core of other players, we would have been a world group Davis Cup nation on an ongoing basis. Now, I know that you're working on a number of other projects. In particular, you're working on a book, which I understand is coming out soon. Yep, yeah, it's coming out with Rodale publisher and it'll be out next spring and it's called The Shape of Your Life, health and fitness book. I think actually the ingredient that's missing is confidence. Um, I mean, you've seen it in doubles. We've had gold medal in, in doubles. We've won Grand Slam titles in doubles, had number one rankings, but we haven't done it in singles. And I think that you, you need that breakthrough performance, somebody who breaks in the top 20 in the world or wins a major title and it just pulls the collective con uh, confidence level up of the whole nation. Uh, you've seen it with Borg in Sweden. You've seen it with Becker and Graf in Germany. And like, you know, I often say there's nothing wrong with Canadian tennis that a Wimbledon champion won't fix. You had a chance to uh, see young Philip Bester. For the people who don't know Philip Bester, tell us a little bit about him. Well, remarkable. He's, he's, he is 17 years old. He's a first year under 18 and he has a December birthday. So he's a month away from still being an under 16. He's six foot three. He's got a big game. I watched him play the first set in his match against Melo today. He lost at 6-4, but it was very competitive. But he's got all the tools and that's what impressed me. You won your first major Grand Slam of Event this year. How has that changed you and, and your game? It's changed uh, my game for sure and, uh, and my personality maybe a little bit because I'm getting more confident and uh, and uh, I feel that I can I can play a high level of tennis. She did own this event for four straight years. Let's bring in Robert Bettauer. I know you've had a chance to talk with her through the years and watch her. She is one of the most gracious athletes that we've had in the sports world, in the tennis world, isn't she? Well, she's an amazing athlete uh, because I think that she, her success came more from the ferocity of her competitiveness than uh, through her particular talent. I mean, she certainly had a unique uh, perspective on how to play angles on the court. But I mean, I, what I always remember about Salas is just how ferocious a competitor she is and how she could rise to the occasion. Robert Bettauer, courtside once again. Robert, what's the latest? Well, there's no official word yet. However, the WTA Tour has indicated that there will be a release coming out tonight. However, uh, Kim Kleiser's own website has suggested that she may be out for up to two months, that she will be out of the U.S. Open and for Fed Cup. And this is now being picked up by a variety of the news surface, uh, services. And, uh, I mean, if I just uh, reflect back yesterday and how she looked during the press conference, uh, she really looked scared, and the language she was using was suggesting that she had a suspicion this might be a recurring injury. So, right now, the news is not good. Very disappointing.
look forward to seeing your next match. Thanks. Well, what did you ask her also? What did, uh, well, the answer, what did she say? I, well, actually, we had the interview in German, and she, she said that she told you to add a little variety to your game, right? And uh, and uh, get a higher first serve percentage in, and, uh, and not come in on her forehand. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I did that one at that one point, and it worked right away. It's just sometimes harder to just continue that. Yeah. So you're liking this coaching thing. It's working for you to have your mama. Um, I think there are some, some, definitely some positive things about it. You know, you still have to try to convert it and, uh, you know, see if it works. But uh, if you know all the shots and you have the capability of, of doing it, so it definitely can help. Thank you very much. Thank you.